for me, Kahala is a God-given dream that has come to fruition. And now I want to be there to help other people to live out their God-given dream. And so when somebody comes to me and says, hey, you know, I've got a real heart to work with women, vulnerable women in a local area. Um, and I, was, I want to be there to kind of support and encourage that. Rather than thinking about, well, that's good, but, but what are you like at, at worship leading? Or what are you like at youth ministry? Because I'm trying to grow this church and I need a youth team and I need a worship team. But it's like, okay, how do I release you then into what God's called you to do? And so, so I said, okay, well, look, look we'll employ you a day a week um, to just go and start working with these women and then see what happens. And, and within three months, um, Alice comes back and she shares the need of these uh, vulnerable women and what they really need is an alternative means of income. And I thought, well, look, we sell stupid amounts of cake. Why don't we, why don't we set up a bakery? And I knew nothing about setting up a bakery, but then I knew nothing about setting up a coffee shop. And, uh, but that didn't stop us. So, so that's kind of why we, we uh, ended up moving forward and setting up a bakery and women are going on these life um, employability schemes that we put together and seeing lives transformed. Uh, very similar, again, we employed uh, Emily um, to set up a safe house for survivors of human trafficking because she'd come back from Bangkok, saw that as a huge issue in London. So I said, well, okay, well, let's invest. You know, what, what do they need? And she said, they need ha a, a new a place, safe home to live in. So I said, well, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's raise money and let's get a safe house. And then, and then Jo, she had a vision to work with women in prisons doing mentoring and education. So again, I said, well, let, well I employ you a day a week to go and do that. Yeah. And, and I think that's the kind of model that we want to keep rolling out that how do we as people begin to catch a vision for what God is calling them to do we don't want to just go okay that's nice it's like okay now we really want to invest in that and release them and in that the kingdom is expanded